The end of a grueling journey that saw the beginning of a very special bond when an extreme racing team that started out with four crossed the finish line as five. 5,000 meters. Sweden's peak performance crew was competing in the 700 kilometer Adventure World Racing Championships when on a break from the biking and hiking, they spotted a hungry dog in a mountain village. He looked like really, really nasty, like with a, with, a, with a deep cut in his back. And I was like, okay, this, this fellow have a hard time. So I gave him some food. I didn't think more about that. One act of compassion that brought lasting appreciation. From then on, the stray stuck by their side, trekking through knee-deep mud, trying to keep up even as others faltered. Walking in that mud is like walking with, you know, dumbbells on your feet. Struggling to swim alongside their kayak when they tried to leave him on shore. Noble and tough, they called him Arthur, after the king, and he shared in all their exhilaration and exhaustion. The race done, Mikael Lindnord realized he couldn't leave him behind. It was not my purpose to go to Ecuador to, to get the dog back to Sweden, but, you know, sometimes this, ha this happens. Maybe it's the destiny. The odyssey had taken its toll and Arthur needed to see a vet, but soon came permission from Sweden needed for the last leg of this remarkable trip. The team didn't bring home a title as they'd hoped, but returned with a prize of a different kind, a new friend who'd found himself a new home. Ben O'Hara Burns, CTV News, London.